you wrestled WrestleMania in the tournament. Was it special to you? I mean, it's WrestleMania. Was it was it one of your biggest matches of your career? Would you say, or was it nah, just another match? No, nah, it was just another match because I was out in the first round. Wrestled <laughs> 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 the one man gang. Yeah, you know, and I, I couldn't wrestle anymore anyway. I could barely even walk. I was in pain, you know. And I, at that point, I was getting to hate the business because Vince was pushing me and pushing me and pushing me. Yeah, you know. And then I just quit after that. I just said, look, I had enough. You know, Vince called me up, he got me by the balls, you know, Vince, you know, here I am crippled and I can't go on, but you don't want to give me the time to heal. Like, you you don't care about me, you only care about Bam Bam, you know, and and, and your product and your markets and your TV. And that's what sucks about this business. Is it, it, it went from house shows, you know, were exciting to where it became a big friggin' ratings game you know and the money that they make is ridiculous and the money they pay the boys is squat and, and you know we're starting to get a bit a little bit more bite of that so yeah and, and tv the overexposure kills it because of the houses you know it brings the houses down even though at, you know it's pay-per-view 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 right you know that's where they make their money because they can re reach a larger market and have direct cash but uh, it's just too much saturation of wrestling on TV, and it just, why go to the show when you can watch it at home? I didn't have no heat, you know. The only heat I had was with the click. Were there any bitter feelings still uh, with you and Vince when you not came out? Not at all. Nah. Not at all. No, not at all. In fact, you know, Vince gave me a hell of a push. Even though they abused me in the end, but I think that was the influence of the click trying to bury me because there was some problems with... Uh, with my friend Chris Candido and, and some rumors that I didn't like and some things. See, I'm old school yeah. and these guys forgot what old school was all about. And there's certain things you do and you don't do. And they were doing the things that you shouldn't do. And, you know, in the day with the old timers around, if you did that shit, every wrestler would be on, on your case. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, they were scared of these guys, and I was the only one that stepped up to the plate and said, you know, fuck all you guys, man. It's not right. It's wrong. And they went to Vince and just said, look, this guy's, you know, he's got a bad attitude. Um, he, he, It's bad for morale. Uh, let's abuse him. And I didn't let him abuse me as much as they wanted to, and I just left. How different was the WF this time around without Hogan being on top? You were there before when Hogan was the man, and now there was well, no Brett, Hogan. Well, Brett did real well, and Yoko did real well with the strap, so I was able to keep business a little interested. Uh, you know, it, it, it really wasn't much of a difference because you know, every TV was sold out. What You know, whether they bought tickets or not, whether they let them in, it was still, the atmosphere was there. Was the locker room any different? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There you had guys that, that, that would say hi to you, and you had guys that didn't want to even bother with you, you know? You had guys saying, well, why is this guy making all this money? And, uh, you know, I'm making shit money. I'm more talented than him. Why is he on top? And, you know, you my my feelings is when you go in, you do a deal with Vince, you get your contract. That's it. He's going to stick to it. Yeah. He's, that's all you're going to get. Yeah. You know, so whether you think you should be Superman or not, like Bob Hollywood, but, you know, uh, <laughs> you, know, you, know you know what you came into. You, yeah. you got nothing in your contract. You're going to get nothing in your contract. If you go in there and you negotiate and you can get something for Vince, whether he likes it or not, he's got to give it to you. All right. Or he's going to wind up in court, you know. Yeah. You know, bottom line, breach of contract. So you get you get what you get. And if you don't get it, you ain't getting it. <laughs> so. uh, um, you uh, you feuded with Tatanka for a while. Chris, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had some great matches with him, man. We tore, tore every town up. We had some phenomenal matches. Good, stiff, stiff matches, you know. I mean, unbelievable. You know, just both yeah. thick kids, you know. So I was able to lay into him. He was able to lay into me, you know. Stuck with Luna for a little while, you know. Yeah. <laughs> How was that? Luna was cool, man. She angels just shot the hell out. You know, she just. She just yeah. <laughs> another one of them things. Wow, I don't get nothing. They don't do nothing for me. Well, you, you know, you gotta get for yourself. Your talent will take you. All right. They like it or not. The the whole problem with the business today is is lack of talent. Yeah. And if you got talent. No matter what, you look at Davy Boy. You know, he always manages to stay on top. Mm -hmm. He's talented. Owen. Yeah. 
should be doing jobs every night, but he stays on top because he's talented because Vince needs talent now. He cannot build on just TV no more, where in the past he used to. Now, talent. You got to go back it's re- the wheel. Yeah. You know, you had talent. Talent got you to where you were today. So it, it got you the exposure in all the TV markets. Well, we don't need talent. We'll just use images. Yeah. Well, now images are killing the business. You got to go back to talent. So right. It just repeats. When was the first time that, that you noticed or thought to yourself that Vince was losing control to the click? Well, when they were all going in and having a meeting and they were all going to, you know, um, uh, uh, production meetings and all, you know, it's just Vince for somehow let, let, let the talent influence him and his decision. And uh, it just really hurt, it hurt the company really bad, you know. And they got away from it, you know. You know, him, Vince Coach, you know, when when Diesel and Razor and Sean and everybody, you know, Vince comes out and says, you know, it's nice to know that there's still some loyalty and a week later. <laughs> yeah. You know, so he should have been more loyal to the guys like me that were telling him it's wrong. You're listening to these guys, they're, they're tearing their morale up and they're, they're stepping on everything. I mean, they were going up to like the Bushwhackers, you know, even though they suck. Yeah. You know, come on, they're all timers. They're going to be out of business a few years. Leave them alone. Respect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, Sean would go up to them and, and tell them, you suck, you're no good. And, you know, yeah. oh, who, I will, you know, and, and the twins, the two brothers, you know. Yeah. They had him by the throat in the garden, choked him out. The blue, the Bruce brothers. Bruce brothers, man. Yeah. You know, Sean getting his ass kicked in Syracuse. What? These guys are a jerk, man. Yeah. Jerk. <laughs> you know, yeah. a rich jerk. <laughs> How did the LT thing come about? Well, that thing was all set up by Lex. Lex Luger. Lex had did a couple golf charity things when it ran into LT and, and blew it by him. And then the next thing you know, Vince pulls me in the office. Says, How would you like to work with LT in WrestleMania? You know, this is fine, you know, but I call the shots. Mm-hmm. He says, you got it. You know, and, and, you know, a couple months of mass, unbelievable media exposure. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, next thing you know, I, I was able to pull it off, yeah. you know, which was a great feeling, a great accomplishment, you know, to, to work everybody. Especially <laughs> 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 when all the boys believed it. <laughs> it was cool. But, uh, it, it, it was just a good deal, you know. It, it was an opportunity for me to get into all that exposure and become bigger than life, you know, be, be on a level of a Bret Hart, a Hulk Hogan, uh, and Shawn Michaels, you know, Terry Fong, just, you know, able to get my name, a household name, you know. Yeah. So uh, it's it was a good deal. And it was opportunity was knocking and I was able to grasp it and take it. And, you know, the click didn't like it, <laughs> you know, cause Sean and, and uh, Diesel were, you know, they were, were the main event. Yeah. Well, I'm the event, but, uh, you know, so yeah. that, even that match sucked, <laughs> you know, you know, a lot of egos, my ego never got in my way. You know, if it would have, I probably would have been better off in a better position than I am in today, but I, I'm, I'm, can't be more happier than the position that I'm in. Right. You know, because uh, it's just, it's a great deal. Is there any more to the story than with Sean missing all that time right after WrestleMania? <sighs> nah, you know, I really don't know. I'm sure it had a lot to do with attitude. Yeah. You know, uh, that's just him. Yeah. Uh, who knows? He don't like to do jobs, by <laughs> You know, now I don't know. He's hurt. Uh, see, I haven't been there, so I really don't know uh, what I hear. So anything I say is just hearsay. You know, yeah, people say he's hurt, but then people say they see him riding his Harley around San Antonio too. So well, when I was hurt, I was able to ride my Harley too. You know, I was right? Ready to relax. So All right. You know, but he's a rich kid. He's yeah. got a lot of money. He's a very popular guy, and he gets to call the shots now. Yeah. Because he don't need to work. Yeah. Wow, well, I mean, Vince needs him obviously at this point. Of course, man, he's yeah. got all that merchandise. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, yeah. you're stuck with fifty million dollars worth of merchandise. Well, shit, we need him back. Yeah, you know, there's heat between Shane, heat between Chris Candido and me, with him because he was part of the clique, and uh, the three of us lost our jobs and our positions because of him yeah. and, and his clique. Yeah. Um, was there was there ever any major blow ups in the, in the locker room with you and the clique? 
They would have got their ass kicked. <laughs> so I'd have beat the shit out of all three of them. And, and at one time, they all wanted to jump me, and it was like, "All right, you go first. Because <laughs> you know, so, you know, the bottom line, I kick all three of their asses. I mean, they want to really get down. They want to shoot. They'd be in big fucking trouble. Did you ever go to Vince during during any of this? Yeah, I did. And Vince said, "No, there's no click. It don't." Vince refused to acknowledge it at all. Yeah. Which which right there led me led me to believe that it was time to get out. And that um, they were definitely influencing him, and, and they just all the heat went on me. I was bad for morale, you know. So right. <laughs> goodbye. Yeah, is that is that what led to you leaving? That was it. Yeah. Wow. Did you leave on good terms with Vince? Or yeah, very good terms. You know, I I, I had a year left on my contract, and you know, he just said, "Look, you know, no pay per views, and do anything you want." Yeah. You know, and I said, "Fine." Yeah. If ECW were to ever, um, say, bring in one of the Click members that they got out of their contract, how, how, how would you guys react? It's business. You can't yeah. put business. I mean, it, when it's a business relationship, <clears throat> it has to be a professional business relationship. You put your ego aside. Yeah. And that's how I do it. If anybody else does it different, well, that's on them. But, yeah. you know, it's business. You know, if I had to work with Razor or Sean or Diesel, you know, I'd get speak my piece, get it off my chest. And if they wanted to be dicks, I'd just go in the ring and stretch them. Yeah. If they don't want to be dicks and they want to be business and they want to go out and, and have more than one match or, you know. Yeah. Because if, if they want to be jerk, they're only going to have one match. Yeah. So that's yeah. going to be the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because Sean ain't kicking my ass. <laughs> Razor, you ain't kicking my ass. And Kevin, you ain't kicking my ass. So, and you'd fucking know it, too. Big Vince will eventually wrestle or? Of course he's going to have to wrestle, man. You know, he's got to complete it. You know, yep. Cactus Jack and freaking Stone Cold or Steve Austin. Yeah. Or as Mike Tyson would, stay, would say, it would be uh, Cold Stone. <laughs> <laughs> sure Michaels is an up-and-coming uh, young talent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what a dick. Mike Tyson, big WF fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm not they see <laughs> <laughs> that again you know watching that made me sick because it was history repeating itself yeah and they're done that you know old news yeah you know and another big <clears throat> letdown it led you to believe that tyson was going to do something and he did dick you know and it, was, it was horrible it was really horrible match sucked too the click well the click is dead um, you know, Vince, Vince is a businessman. He's got to make business decisions, uh, you know, and it'll always be that way. You know, he's, he's made millionaires that got to a point that told him no. Um, you know, as far as the click influence Vince now, I think he had such a bad experience with in the past. I don't think it'll ever happen again. Besides, he's got Shawn Michaels to deal with. And they did the close up on his jaw and his... Chewing his gum. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see no, nah, when uh, Tyson oh, knocked him out, he's just going. Yeah. Like, ah, uh, whatever. That's you know? so bad. Yeah. He like blew bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> it's really bad, man, because it's just not. It's not the right thing. It's not business. Surprised he didn't say nothing. Start doing a dance, you know, in the middle of it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a trip, man. This is a trip. Wow. From my understanding, was that um. And from a good, reliable, very reliable source that uh, Mark Calway, after his match, taped up his hands, pushed everybody out of the way to TV, mm -hmm. sat down in front of the television and says, if he don't drop the strap, I'm fucking taking him out. Really? Because apparently there was heat. He wasn't going to go up and do it. Wow. You know, like he was going to renege on his deal. Well, he was going to screw every, the whole company over. Yeah. Because yeah, knew, they knew he was on his way out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's great. That's really screwed, man. It's just terrible. I heard there was a lot of heat with him and Mark Calloway in their matches, too, because you didn't give him anything. I don't think Mark's that evil. I think Mark could get along with, with, with you know, with uh, Sean. He's an easygoing guy? A little bit, but, uh, you know, there was no ego there because Mark, I don't think... Mark needs a strap to carry him over, you know. Yeah. Take it or need a strap, and, and where Sean does, because yeah. he's nothing without a belt, yeah. you know. And what my position is, I don't need a belt yeah. to draw money. Right. You know, my money is going against the belt. You know, that's what's going to draw because yeah. 
they step into the ring, you know, there's a, you, you know, when I get in there, that you could possibly lose that belt. Right. And if I wanted to take it, that you're losing your fucking belt. There's not a damn thing you could do about it. <laughs> you know, sometimes I can't, though. Some guys wind up on top. Yeah. So what about Shawn Michaels? Shawn Michaels? Well, you know, he's, he's a great, great worker. He's just got a bad attitude and, and a bad way that he does business, but he's been successful and he's got rich doing it and uh, more power to him. All right.